When I was a kid, I thought the word vegetarian and virgin had the same meaning. I never grew up with people that didn't eat meat because I'm brown, so seeing a vegetarian was actually a very rare thing. Anyways, I remember there was a girl in our middle school cafeteria, and I was always curious of why she ate salad every single day, and not gonna lie, I remember she was really hot. So I remember I walked up to her, and I literally asked her, hey, are you a virgin? She stared at me with her wide eyes open and started crying for some reason. Obviously, I felt bad, and I told her it's okay to be a virgin, I just never saw saw one before and then i walked away later on during the day 10 minutes into my next class i remember the counselor called me down to the office like for part two when i went to the counselor's office she gave me a glare and said take a seat as i sat down she asked do you know why you're here today now originally i thought it was because i stole a mini tub of ice cream in the cafeteria at lunch but i just said no she went on to ask why did you ask a girl at lunchtime if she was a virgin then i said well because i never see her eat meat she gave me a pissed off look thinking that i was referencing a wee wee instead of actual meat and got really mad after that i told her i never meant to make her cry i just wanted to know why she was a virgin of all things she stood up from her desk and said she wanted to make a phone call to my parents to meet her after school because I wasn't cooperating. Last part is part three, I swear, that's final. Then after school came and my parents met up with me in anger. My father looked at me and said, what did you do, Bubba? Anyways, we sat in the office together and the counselor looked at me. She said, your son was trying to perform the devil's tango in the cafeteria, saying that for TikTok reasons. My parents gave me a shocked look and the fact that this woman thinks that I'm able to get laid looking like this in grade six kind of gives me a shock then the counselor went on to ask has your son ever performed the devil's tango now me sitting down confused of how we went from a girl eating salad to me performing coitus it, it still blows my mind to this day but then my mom looked at me and i was in tears literally trying to figure out what's going on and then my mom asked me bubba what does it mean to be a virgin? I said it was a type of person to only eat vegetables and fruits because they don't like meat. Everyone looked at each other and my parents started laughing saying, do you mean vegetarian? My counselor had the most blankest look on her face and said, I apologize for this miscommunication. I just wasn't sure because this was a real school threat. Follow for more embarrassing stories. Honestly, I think we all met that girl that goes, oh, I have a lot of guy friends. And I think all of us guys know when a girl says that it's like an automatic red flag. Like I remember back in high school, I met this girl in math class and I remember her walking up to me and she said, hey, Bubba, can I add your snap for like homework reasons? Now, I'm going to be honest. I was like basically failing almost all my classes because I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the smartest kid when it comes to school. But at the same time, though, I was, you know, in that state where I did hit puberty. So I didn't look ugly. So a girl getting my snap wasn't a big shock. Anyways, I remember when I went home that day, she ended up snapping me. She snapped me saying to come over and help her with homework that she had. And when I asked her what kind of homework, she said math. So I already know it was automatically just BS and she wanted to just, you know, do the devil's tango so i ended up going over and when i went over let's just say the most sweatiest things happen fall for part two so when i went to her place i remember walking through the door and then she told me hey can you like help me like plug in my ps4 at first i was really just confused because i thought i was gonna help her with math but we ended up just watching netflix which is i guess better and while we were watching netflix i remember she put her hand on my thigh and let's just say we did end up doing the devil's tango but while doing it i remember just seeing her phone just blow up every second like it got to the point where it just kept going and going to the point where I just got annoyed And I remember just stopping mid devil's tango and saying oh your phone keeps going off She looked at me and said oh yeah It's just all my friends are just messaging me But as awkward as it was saying that right in that moment I remember she got up and ended up going to the bathroom and what I found out later on was probably the most Worst thing to find out after doing the devil's tango with fall for part three when this girl went to the bathroom I remember literally looking at her phone and she left her phone wide open I don't know why but let's just say she was on her home screen when she went to the bathroom and i remember picking up her phone and usually i'm not snoopy when it comes to girls but this girl's phone like was going off and when i opened her phone i went on snapchat to see who was messaging her and it ended up being like 50 guys that just kept snapping her photos and i remember opening one of them and let's just say i saw a literal guy's eggplant just on her phone and i remember as she was coming back from the bathroom i literally heard the door open and i chucked her phone on the table when she came in i remember she wanted to go for round two but i instantly just got up and said hey yeah listen i'm not like really in the mood anymore and i remember getting up and actually leaving that house to this day she still messages me of what happened but i'm gonna be honest i kind of just forget about it because i think any guy would agree when a girl has a lot of guy friends let's just say they're more than just guy friends in their own head i don't know anyways fall for more embarrassing stories okay so doing the devil's tango in summer camp is something i never expected to do like i remember when i was in high school my parents wanted me to go to summer camp because i kept playing video games all day 
day. So I remember going on the bus and heading there. And when I got there, let's just say I had no friends because, well, it was my first year of summer camp and I had no idea who anyone was. But then I remember seeing a chick sitting there all alone by herself. And I thought it'd be cool to see her and, you know, basically just talk to her. So I walked up to her and said, hey, how you doing? And basically it was hardcore flirting with her. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't look ugly, so might as well. And I remember she said, oh, you're kind of cute. And we ended up flirting and stuff. But then I remember later on throughout the day, I realized that she had a really, really hot cousin. And it came to my mindset that I didn't want her. I wanted her cousin more. So let's just say things got pretty weird. Fall for part two. When I saw her cousin, I'm not even joking. She was the hottest thing in the world. Like she was 10 times hotter than the girl I was originally flirting with. And I remember one time I was waiting for her to be alone. And when she got alone, I remember walking up to her and saying, hey, so like, you're kind of cute, yo. Like, how you doing? And I remember she was hardcore flirting back with me, which was a big W. But at the same time, it was kind of funny because she said right after, wait a minute, weren't you flirting with my cousin earlier? But at the same time, I kind of just played it off and I got her snap. And I remember we were just like kind of talking throughout the day on snap. And I remember it was lights out because we have lights at 11 30 at the campsite and i remember she messaged me saying hey after this come meet up with me at the activities room and you already know what was about to go down full for part three i remember when i first got the snap that she wanted to meet up with me i remember slowly getting out of there like let's just say i literally snuck out of my cabin just to go see this girl and when i went out of my cabin i remember literally tiptoeing and running to the activities room it was like a semi speed run and when i got there i remember seeing her on the couch and let's just say me and her sat, sat down beside each other and then we ended up doing the devil tango and that went on till like 5 a.m the next morning and we passed out there but then i remember waking up and seeing the door open and let's just say her cousin that i was originally flirting with was there and walked in on us it was the most awkward situation and i remember she literally grabbed her cousin by the wrist saying you can't do that to my cousin how could you and let's just say it was a really awkward situation throughout camp and i remember the camp counselor sending me home for what i did and even though i got sent home it was the best camp experience i ever had fall for more embarrassing stories now i feel like dating has gotten really Really overrated ever since we're able to do friends with benefits like let's be honest i think all of us guys and girls would be so happy if we literally just had a, that one singular person do friends with benefits like i remember back when i was in high school i remember i had a biology class and i took biology because let's be honest no one likes chemistry but anyways as i was in biology class i remember it was our first day and i sat down beside this amazing girl and this girl was outstanding she looked beautiful she was charming and she was just sweet in general and don't get me wrong she had a rack and a half <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, I remember as we were talking about life and everything, the science teacher walked in and said, these are officially our partners for the rest of the school year. And me and her were paired up since we were sitting at the same table. And it was really awkward at first. I'm not even going to lie to you because we had some things in common, some things we didn't. But then what ended up happening was insane. Fall for part two. So as me and her were talking throughout the school year, I remember me and her had a lab we had to finish because we didn't end up finishing it in school. Usually we would finish our labs in like that one day because she was really smart and I was really dumb so like it was like the perfect duo but then she's invited me over to come to the lab with her so she can like you know make me understand and blah 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 i don't know it's just dumb but when a hot chick invites you over you don't say no like you just don't so her parents were home we were in their house doing a lab and i remember she was telling me you know how no guys really satisfied her and honestly that made me kind of shocked because i'm gonna be honest i'm a really competitive person when it comes to you know i guess women <laughs> and i remember i was like, telling her like i you know i've done it a ton of times and blah 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 and one thing led to another and we ended up doing the devil's tango and what ended up happening next was insane fall for part three so after we did the devil's tango me and her had to talk about some things because she wanted to be honest with me and she's like i would do it again but i don't want you catching feelings and she was explaining how like you know she didn't want to hurt my feelings whatsoever so i remember me and her we ended up writing out a contract like a literal actual contract there were three basic rules for this contract number one was not to get attached to the other person number two was of course you wouldn't sleep with anyone else because you know that would be really gross and i don't want to catch anything and the last and final rule was that if you were getting in feelings with another person the contract would officially break and honestly that was a fair enough rule like i think it's a fantastic rule so one thing led to another we were doing it for a couple weeks until one day she came up to me and said hey i kind of like this guy and the semester was ending and honestly i just let it go and that right there is how you have the ultimate friends with benefits <laughs> fall for more embarrassing stories so gold diggers are actually a real thing and i'm not talking about the fake ones that you know are usually in like the movies and stuff and my experience with the gold digger was insane but before that if you guys want money in your wallet make sure you guys download salad 
solid. It's a crypto miner that basically makes you money as your AFK from your gaming PC or your PC in general. So if you guys want to make money, make sure you guys download it in the link in my bio and just go check it out. And use code Bubba for double the earning and get cool rewards because they work with Discord. So anyways, like I was saying, this story starts off with me in the theater. So me and my friends decided to go to a theater to go watch Deadpool 2. And Deadpool was one of our favorite movies at the time. So we went together to go see the second one. And as we went to go see the second one, I remember there was a bunch of chicks coming in the theater while we were all sitting in the back of the theater. They were on the left side of the theater and we were there in the, you know, the middle because we always take the middle back because, you know, that's where all the real boys sit. And then I remember these chicks just kept giggling and one was staring me down like a hawk. And this girl was like just an ordinary girl. And I remember my friend stood up saying, instead of staring, why don't you just join us? And this is where things got nasty. Fall for part two. So as we were in the movie and we had this random chick beside me that I had no idea who she was, I remember we were kind of just talking and doing a little like, you know, cute talking and stuff. But then she made me buy her popcorn and she didn't even say thank you. Like she should have just like asked for it as if, you know, everything was like demanded towards her. But I still did it because she's a hot chick. And then after that, I remember we made out for like 20 minutes. And then as I was like going home because the movie ended, I remember she basically asked me for a ride home. And I said, okay, fine. Like I'll drive you home. And as we were driving home, I remember she was telling me about her life and everything and how she wants more money. And basically she was telling me how we should go to the mall tomorrow and stuff because she saw I had my silica at the time. And I said, sure. And let's just say the next day, I wish I didn't go to the mall with her because it was just a danger for me and my wallet. <laughs> Fall for part three. As we were in the mall, me and her were just walking around doing her own thing. And then I realized that she was like really always saying the same line when we go looked at like stuff. For example, we saw a pair of vans and she was like, oh, I wish you would buy these for me. Like you'd be such a good guy. And that was like the same line for literally every single thing that, you know, she wanted me to buy her. I only ended up buying her the pair of vans that she wanted, but let's just say I knew my wallet was in danger. So I made up some fake emergency to go home. And when I went home, I remember the boys were telling me how on Snap Maps that she was like still at the mall and like she was with another guy. So I remember I went back to the mall to see what was up and what was going on. And when I saw her wearing the vans that I bought her and was with another guy basically doing the same thing and buying her things back to back, I realized that she was the ultimate gold digger. And that is why you should always be careful of who you go out with. Fall for more embarrassing stories.